The following video is a recap of Stuffle Community Day. And welcome to Lewis's Adventures Place Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts if you want to upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. In this video, I'll be covering Stuffle Community Day, and hopefully I'll be able to catch as many shinies during this event as well. Stay tuned as I not only complete the special research, but also catch a lot of stuffle in the process. Well, this community day got off to a slow start for me, especially when it came to shiny hunting. Towards the end of this clip, you'll see when I finally got my first shiny. As for the special research story, it is called Strong Stuff. And step one had you catching 15 stuffle with your reward of 20 pineapp berries, power up a Pokemon 10 times with your reward of a stuffle encounter, and transfer 10 Pokemon with your reward of 50 stuffle candies. And the total rewards for this step were 2,000 Stardust, a stuffle encounter, and one star piece. For step two, you had to use five pineapp berries to help you catch Pokemon with your reward of 50 stuffle candy. Use five raspberries to help you catch Pokemon with your reward of a stuffle encounter. And take three snapshots of stuffle in the wild with your reward of 15 Pokeballs. Your total rewards for this step were 1500 XP a stuffle encounter, and one lucky egg. For step three, you had to make three great curveball throws with your reward of a stuffle encounter. Catch 15 stuffle with your reward of one incense, and evolve one stuffle with your reward of 15 great balls. The total rewards for this step were 2,500 XP, one rocket radar, and 15 ultra balls. For the last and final step, you automatically claim the following rewards. Two silver pineapp berries, two golden raspberries, at 3,500 XP with your total rewards of 3,000 stardust, a beware encounter, and 100 stuffle candy. And of course there was also field research tasks you had to do during the event, which included catching three stuffle, spinning five stops or, or gyms, and walking one kilometer. And the rewards for this were a stuffle encounter, five great balls, one golden raspberry, two ultra balls, two pineapp berries, 
500 Stardust for the Catch 3 Stuffle Field Research t Task for the fa 5 Poke Stops or Gems that you had to spin. It was 600 Stardust for walking 1 kilometer. The rewards were a Stuffle Encounter, 5 Great Balls, 1 Golden Raspberry, 2 Ultra Balls, 2 Pineapple Berries, and 500 Stardust. In addition to that, there was also a Community Day Distance Challenge, which ended around 8 p.m. on April 23rd, but started around 10 a.m., which of course, you had to walk 1 through 5 kilometers, and your rewards for each of those steps were a Cherupi encounter and of course the total rewards for completing this were a Cherupi encounter, 1000 XP and 1000 Stardust and I will leave you to the rest of this track called Newer Wave by Kevin McLeod. got my first shiny. I was not able to get it during the filming of the special research, but I finally got one. Stay tuned to see if I get more at the end of this video. Well, this community day could have been better, but my final shiny count is nine. Yes, I caught nine shiny stuffle. I had a lot of luck walking around outside than sitting inside. I was able to catch some during my live stream across the street from my house here. In the end, I'm happy with what I got. Hopefully the next community day will be much better. In the meantime, this is Lewis saying, thanks for watching everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and TikTok. Remember, it's time. Sure.